Here's another way to make sausage gravy. Take a pound of sausage, any brand will work. I know a lot of people on YouTube seem to like Jimmy Dean, and when Jimmy Dean owned the company, it was great products. Now that Jimmy Dean doesn't own it, I don't buy this stuff. All right, okay, I like to use wooden utensils in my cast iron, so now we're just going to break this up a little bit. Actually, we're going to break it up a whole lot because I want it to crumble. And we're going to let it continue to heat up. And when it starts to sizzle, then we'll break it on down and go stirring and keep stirring. This is Swaggert's one pound mild sausage. Um, I use either Swaggert's or I use Williams, whichever's on sale. This doesn't have very much grease in it, which is good. So. When I get this brown the way I like it, then I'll add some uh, bacon grease. While uh, the sausage is rendering on down, I think that's a fancy cooking term while it's getting crispy, I'm going to put a can of evaporated milk in the microwave and heat it about 40 seconds because I don't want to be dumping cold milk into my hot uh, butter when we get to that point. So, all right, we'll be back here in a little bit. Right, we're coming up on about 12 minutes that this has been cooking. A little past the medium heat. Now, I like my sausage, my hamburger, and that stuff. I like really well done, really crispy. You can make yours as rare or well done as you like. There is no recipe for this. I'm just showing you the way I'm doing it today. Another day, I'll probably do it different. Okay, in 12 minutes. Now, I'm going to scoop most of the sausage out. because it was about an inch and a half, two inches deep in the pan. Now all I've got is a little bit left there on the bottom. And to make the gravy. Now, back with the wooden spatula. We're going to melt that butter in the pan, scraping up just a few little bits of sausage that may have stuck to the bottom. And when we get that butter good and hot, we'll add, start adding flour. All right, the chunks of butter are all melted. And the butter is bubbling very nicely, so we'll start with a little bit of flour. Again, the amount doesn't matter, as you just do this the way you like it. Turn the heat up a little bit. And we'll sprinkle in just a little bit of flour. Holy with the flour. Stir it till that's all incorporated. We're not even off to a good start yet. More flour. Start to thicken up. I'd like to do at least one more quarter cup of, of flour. Yeah, I think we can handle a quarter cup before we start adding our liquid. There's another heaping quarter. A little in at a time. Keep the stirring. Keep the stirring constantly. Yep, the bottom of that pan has come up nice and clean. Okay, that's getting really thick. May have overdone it a little bit, but that's the story of my life. All right, now we're going to start adding the warm condensed milk. And that's evaporating just about as fast as I put it in there. And it's going to take all of that. 
And then we're going to put some regular milk in the microwave. And while we're waiting for the milk, we'll put a little water. Yeah, a little more water. So at this point, I've used three-fourths of a cup of flour. I think that was self-rising. I don't know if it makes any difference. Probably three-quarters of a stick of butter. One can of evaporated milk. And uh, I've got a cup of 2% milk that I heated. And I'm going to put the last of the two. So I've got a can of condensed milk, a cup of 2% milk for liquids. Now that's cooled it down a little bit. We're going to bring it back to a, a simmer, a boil, or whatever. Now, all right. let's put a whisk in there. It looked like I might have had some lumps. And we're going to turn it down because I can smell it burning on the bottom, which is about par for the course for me. All right, she's starting to come back to a boil. All now, up to now, this is pretty much just a standard sausage gravy recipe. But I like mine brown. So we'll put in a little kitchen bouquet. We'll put in some liquid smoke for flavor. Now we'll go back to stirring. I'm not much of one for salt and pepper, but we'll put a little salt in this just for the heck of it. Alright, that's got thickened up pretty nicely. So now we'll put our sausage back in. We're going to turn that down to simmer. And all we want to do now is just get the sausage and the gravy thoroughly mixed. So much for that. Okie dokie. Now I think fancy chefs call this plating, but I'm going to put it in these little bowls to cool down and put in the freezer for later. And since I've got this nice and thick, um, I'm going to thin this down a little. I think that was a little thick, so I'm going to add a little more water and thin it down a little more and heat it back up. Now my dishes never come out the same way twice, which is just fine. Sometimes they're good, sometimes I wouldn't feed them to the dog, but anyway. Just, ah. So.
Now when I'm ready to reheat this, put it in the microwave, warm it up a little bit, add a little bit of melt to it to thin it back out. All right. Now we'll get the spatula and a plate with some biscuits on it and scrape that out. Okay, here's some biscuits I made fresh about three hours ago. You notice I make my biscuits square. I'm not sure why we're supposed to make them round and then have to re-knead that dough or whatever you call it that makes, to me, makes it tough. Okay. Here we go. Get all that out of there. Pan cool down. Yep. Scrape all this off. Set all that aside. Pour a nice glass of milk. I think it's time for mid-morning lunch. Now I think as the television chefs will say, mmm, that is so good. That's the best sausage gravy I've ever made until I make some more. Thanks for watching.